This represents an individual SARS-CoV-2 viral particle, which is the virus that causes COVID-19. This virus has several different parts, including the envelope membrane protein and the spike protein, both at the surface of the virus. Most of the parts you see here, like the spike protein, exist because the virus's RNA genome provides the blueprints or instructions for making them. Some vaccines, like MMR, polio, smallpox, and others, are made of what we call attenuated viruses. These are weakened versions of the actual viruses. After injection with these vaccines, the patient's immune system recognizes these attenuated viruses as foreign intruders and starts to build antibodies. So it's like a state-of-the-art radar surveillance system that can deploy precision weapons, antibodies, to destroy the intruder. The immune system then essentially stores these antibodies away in anticipation of the next time it encounters that virus. And this is what we call immune memory, which is the goal of the vaccine. Now, if the vaccinated patient ever encountered the real virus, the immune system would be primed and ready with antibodies to quickly respond and eliminate that virus. Our current COVID-19 vaccines are a bit different. Instead of using attenuated whole viruses, the COVID-19 vaccines immunize us against only the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. And this has some advantages, one of which is that it focuses our immune response with laser-like precision to the part of the virus, the spike protein, that is most accessible and recognized by our immune system. In effect, this trains our immune system to see the spike protein as a foreign intruder. And then, after vaccination, if we encounter the actual SARS-CoV-2 virus, our antibodies recognize the spike protein on the virus surface and spring into action to quickly eliminate the virus. Importantly, the spike protein cannot turn into the virus. Therefore, the vaccine cannot give us COVID-19. Now, we may feel symptoms of an immune response after the vaccine, like chills and aches, but these are only signs the vaccine is doing its job. All of our current COVID-19 vaccines share the common goal of immunizing us against the spike protein, but their delivery methods differ a little bit. The Pfizer and Moderna vaccines contain a tiny piece of RNA in a lipid particle. This lipid, or fat, particle helps stabilize and deliver the RNA to our cells. And once there, the RNA carries the instructions for our cells to make the spike protein. So our cells take it up and make spike protein, which activates our immune system and leads to the production of antibodies. RNA from the vaccine cannot change our DNA. Our cells use the RNA and literally throw it out, so it's only temporary in our bodies. The only lasting effect should be immunity against SARS-CoV-2. The more recently approved vaccine from Johnson & Johnson uses an adenoviral vector, which is derived from a common harmless adenovirus. This adenoviral vector cannot replicate inside the body. It's simply a delivery system that introduces the spike protein to our immune system. The result is the same. Our cells produce spike protein, which generates immunity against SARS-CoV-2.